People who were there tell us some of these animals were found without food and water, in cardboard boxes, and some of their hoofs were in really bad shape. One of the donkeys, I actually cried for the feet because um, I knew how much pain it was in. Um, we've had donkeys with that kind of condition before, and it's a slow process to fix for them and very painful. Donkeys, a snake, and a peacock. Over here, these birds were all part of the rescue. Wow. Just some of the dozens of animals rescued in Northwood last Thursday. Way too many animals for the space that it was in um, and the care that... Uh, I don't even know how they know where all the animals were. There was a cage here, ducks in cardboard boxes over there, uh, rabbits in another one, loose animals. Um, it, it was just... Crazy. It Teresa Paradise brought 16 animals back to her rescue and sanctuary at Live and Let Live Farm. Some of them didn't have any food or water. The New Hampshire SPCA took in 39. So we're essentially acting as a, a holding facility right now. So we're providing all the care to the animals, uh, food, water, um, enrichment, um, as well as medical care. This is the SPCA's second seizure and rescue in two weeks after more than two dozen dogs and other animals were removed from a home in Bedford last month. The organization now has more than 200 animals in their care. And we had just haven't seen those numbers in quite a few years, so we are stretched a little thin. The New Hampshire SPCA says you can directly help victims of neglect or abuse by donating to their SOS fund, or if you want to help with the high volume of animals they have in their care, you can adopt one of the pets like Sweet Loki here. In Stratum, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.